I'm just going to do a video on the Tech Hope Tech Free lever. Um, there's nothing wrong with this lever. I just want to strip it down and show you how you can put it back together. Um, it's really not that difficult. It's pretty similar to the Tech uh, lever, which is the old kind of silver ones that you could flip over and use both ways. Um, we're not going to take this top cap off because it's not really part of removing the lever and the piston internals that are in here. So yeah, first things first is there is a little two millimeter grub screw in there. So we're going to grab Allen key, two mil Allen key. I'm going to unscrew that anti-clockwise. And then there's your little grub screw there. The next thing is, what we're going to do is remove this. So there's a little circlip that goes around this silver pivot at the bottom. Um, and we do have a pair of circlip pliers. The ones that we've got are Nipex pliers. And they're, well, I'll just show them to you. And then if you did want to buy them, you can get a set of them. Um, the reason is it's they're three millimeter. So the little blades on the end are all the little bits on the end are small enough to get into that clip. So yeah, we're just gonna take that, put a little circuit plier into that gap in there. We're just gonna open it up, and that means we can pull that little circlip off. Um, I know not many people probably might not have these kind of pliers. Potentially, you could use a flat end and try and get underneath it and do it other ways. Problem comes if you snap that clip, then yeah, it's not going to go back on. So I'll leave that one up to you. And then we're going to get an Allen key or a prod pusher, anything. We're going to push this pivot through. Um, it's kind of easier said than done. It does get stuck quite easily. So I'm just going to grab an Allen key and push on here. And it kind of it just gets stuck at that point, so I'm just going to push push the Allen key against me. And I'm just going to try and move this lever and wiggle that lever, and there we go. And there's that part, and that's what came out the pivot there. So yeah, once we remove this Allen key from the lever, there's a little spring in here, and the lever might shoot off. So we're just going to grab that, hold that. And there we go, and there's your uh, lever blade uh, assembly. Comes in two parts. There's a spring, and inside the little hole in there, there will be a little brass insert. And also in there, you can see in there, there's a little brass insert inside there. Um, sometimes I do put a little bit of copper grease on these things on these little adjusters because they can seize up but yeah we we'll get that out of the way so you're left with this and you can see there's a little silver bolt there for some reason hope put these kind of security bits on here so it's actually a t10 torx but it's got a hole in the middle so i'll grab the bit and show you if we can get the camera to focus so yeah that's the torx bit there It's got a tiny little hole in the middle, and that's what you need to remove that little plate inside there. Once you remove that plate, there's nothing stopping the piston from coming out, so you might want to put your finger or your thumb on the piston as you undo that. But sometimes, where the brakes are a little bit old, a bit of grit and dirt has kind of seized the bits together. I'm just going to let go of that piston, I'm going to pull the piston out and the whole unit comes out together. And that is pretty much the disassembly of that lever. Um, I'll just try and show you the bolt. See how close we can get to it. You can, hopefully you can just see on the camera there is a little kind of dot in the middle there. Um, and yeah, that's Totally empty in there. Let's see a bit of light going through in my glove. So yeah, totally empty. And you're left with your 
piston as well and the spring. Um, you do want to check this stuff. Not sure if you can see there, but there's a little kind of scratch on the piston. Sometimes bits like that could mark the inner bore, so you might want to grab a little bit of uh, sandpaper and get rid of that mark. Just don't sand the rubber seals. And the spring comes off as well. So that's a separate thing. And yeah, what you want to do is just check the seals. Make sure there's no little cuts in them or anything like that. These ones seem good. And normally if you have like an old seal, you will see that it's kind of swollen. Um, so yeah, they swell up as they age. But these ones look totally fine. So we're going to just show you all the bits that we've taken out. There's a plate with a little special screw on there. You've got a lever. This spring for the lever. There's your little circlip right there. There's your pivot. If we can get that into the shot. So there's your pivot. And then finally is your grub screw. So that's all pretty straightforward, I think. Um, so yeah, let's go about rebuilding it. Push all this out of the way. We don't need it. Have a little clean up. And that's the other thing as well if you wanna if you do find that your brake's a bit dirty inside, this one's kind of relatively new, so it's in good condition. Um, you might just want to spray some alcohol spray down there and get a little soft cotton bud and clean out any grit and dirt. Um, and just try and eject any crap that's in there. So yeah, we're gonna grab our piston, put our spring back on. Maybe it goes that way. These are a lot tighter fit than the older ones, which were really easy to get on and off. There we go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push that piston in that way. And I just like to kind of wriggle it. I don't push it all the way in um, like straight or hard because you might catch a seal. So I just like to kind of wriggle that um, whole unit around. And then you can find that it's seated quite nicely. Next up you need your I don't know what they actually call it, some sort of plate um, and the little screw as well, the Torx T10 and that's just going to slide that way down to there, you put the bolt in there and then what you're going to do is push on the piston and tighten this bolt at the same time, it's kind of the, obviously the reverse order of how you took it out. The reason that you want to push on this piston is you can actually bolt this down and the plate will be slightly bent upwards and it won't sit properly um, and that's just the force of the piston coming back at you so you just push down on that just kind of give that a little wiggle and try and seat that black um, retainer clip plate so yeah, this is what I'm talking about so if you can see in there hopefully you don't want that to be like that you want that plate to be totally flush like that so you don't want to tighten it like that because it might feel like it's become tightened and it's not actually at the right point so yeah make sure you push down on that I'm just gonna it's a bit awkward with the camera I'm trying to get it in this shot but you won't be able to see this bit anyway and there you go you see that's nice and flush it sits in the groove nicely there's no way for it to go if you just kind of push and prod on it you realize it's not you know that's exactly where it's meant to sit it's happy to sit there and the next thing is the lever and your little spring as well so yeah, it's very very straightforward you just basically where that little brass insert is you put the spring in that bit and where the other brass insert is on this bit just there, you slide these two together. That's your uh, lever assembly done. This bit can be a little bit tricky. So you're gonna take your lever body and you're gonna get your lever onto that body like that. Obviously make sure you got it the right way around because it's not gonna 
going to bolt up too well if you try and do it like that. So yeah. Um, and then what I do is I get a little Allen key, I'll get a bigger one here, and as I slide this lever into the body, I try and put this Allen key through all these holes at once, just to retain it there. So yeah, that's, that's going to go there. I'm going to hold that, just grab an Allen key, and wiggle it into the hole like so. And that's what you're going to end up with, just check all the holes are lined up. Sometimes the this bit and this bit. So basically the, the two halves of the lever might separate and one of the holes will be over here and one of the holes will be over there. Um, so what we're going to do, well, what I should have done is actually push this through the bottom and I'll show you why. So we're just going to switch Allen keys over. It will make your life a lot easier if you do it bottom through the top. We got most of that there. Yep, there we go. Make sure you've got nice and a lever feel. Feels good before you put your pivot back on. So the reason I put the Allen key coming through the bottom is we're going to push that pivot and follow the Allen key through. So I'm just going to go down like this, and um, because this has a lot of grooves on it, it's got a groove there and the groove in the middle. Kind of gets stuck on everything inside. So it can be a bit, um, bit of a long process, a little bit awkward. So yeah, we're just gonna try and line this up. Get that, try and wiggle that a little bit. I think this will be the part of the video that I'll end up probably cutting rather than doing one long take. We can kind of put that Allen key on there, press it like that, and just try and push down or we'll do it. underneath see what's happening it's kind of hard to line it all up there we go got a little bit on there so once you got that first bit on you kind of wiggle the lever up and down and then we've got the whole thing in there now um, back to this little clip so yeah this little guy here you might find that when you've taken it off you've opened it up a little bit so what I sometimes do is just Grab a pair of pliers and just try and get that into shot. And then I might just kind of, you know, bring it together a little bit, just so that when we put it back on now, it's a little bit of a tighter fit. Otherwise, it might be too loose and fall off. See, so yeah, that's what it looks like there, and I'm quite happy with that. Turn your lever upside down. Um, get your circlet pliers, whatever tool you're going to use. I would recommend the circlet pliers. You might be able to find a cheaper set, but it has to be um, you know, around the three mil. Anything under three mil would be okay. So yeah, we're just gonna open it just enough to get it over there. You haven't got to open it like miles, just a little bit. And there we go. Make sure it's kind of pushed on. Seems quite happy. Give it leave a little. It's not coming off, so that's nice and happy on there. Um, and finally you're going to get your 2 mil. don't forget your little grub screw. So it's going to lock your lever, in, uh, your pivot in place. And you might want to just, yeah, it seems a bit bunged up the thread. So you might just want to rotate it in reverse before you put it in there. That's your grub screw. And all we're going to do is just give it a little nip up. And that should hold quite nicely. And yeah, there's your uh, tech free lever. Very, very easy to work on. Really nice levers from Hope. Um, yeah, seem to have less problems than the older stuff, but maybe that's just age related. And yeah, just make sure your adjusters are working. Um, you might find they get seized up, and when that lever's off, you can just clean them up. 
yeah, that's everything apart from the top cap.